so this is our first morning in Nepal and we're gonna explore before we have to travel we're gonna go outside of the city on our first day some of the family members already explored the city but you know since we came a day later we're kind of behind in the plans so we're gonna explore eventually later but such a, this is like such a new country for me it's very different from the Philippines and Colombia it's the you know Philippines is the only Asian country I've been to so this is really cool Okay, babe, these are very live wired. Don't touch them. Oh, look at that crow. <laughs> so one of the first things we notice is that the electricity here is 220 and you could see that on the cables that it's just kind of hanging for people to reach and you know that's kind of dangerous there are a lot of dogs out stray dogs but they're all very friendly i feel like they got used to the the people there weren't a lot of people that were selling us stuff in the buddhist stupa which is great I feel like out of all the places me and Lucy have been to, Nepal has been the, the place where the least merchants have followed you. Usually the people that will follow you are people that want to take photos with you and then you know you just give them a little tip. We also visited kind of during the holiday so you'll see a lot of Buddhists going around. We actually saw Buddhist people in a bar just like having fun drinking and stuff, even offered us directions and all that stuff so it's a very friendly environment with the buddhists and the people in general i think today is special because oh, it's a holiday the monk just so they told us uh, they, they have a ceremony today but I, I, I don't know exactly which one <laughs> it's open let's go let's go inside I see. Also, guys, the Buddha stupa is free to enter, which is really great because uh, one of the ashes of the original Buddha was placed. So it's kind of like a monument that you can visit for free. On this day, one of the entrances to the stupa opened, and it was kind of special for us to see Buddhists praying and stuff. We try to not be in the way as much as possible because we want to respect the religion, but just experiencing the, the rituals and the stuff they do and understanding it as well just makes me, kind of humbles me a lot because they're very humble in a way and you know, they offer prayers to everyone, not just Buddhist people, and they're also very welcoming. We saw the Buddha Stupa very early in the morning and it was one of the most beautiful day to see the Buddha Stupa with the religious activities going around. I hope we didn't get in the way of their rituals and observations but it was definitely the first time I experienced Buddhism and it was a very humbling experience and I have a lot of respect for the religion. Guys, there are so many people here. It's literally 6 a.m. And I think it's like a special religious day because everyone's going in circles around. Everyone is praying today. It's really, really something else I've never experienced before. Okay. But 
but weather-wise, when we went in April, it's a very good weather. Like I thought, <laughs> a lot of people think Nepal is like in the mountains because of Mount Everest, but it's actually you know there's some valleys and there's some really nice warm areas, not really high elevation. Uh, the temperature here was around like 70 to 80. It was very comfortable. So we just went inside like a, like a temple, like a Buddhist temple. And I didn't want to record because I didn't want to be rude, but very, very humble. I've never, when, when they hit my head with that thing and started singing, I've never felt so spiritually outside my religion before from another religion. So that was, that was really cool and very special. How are you feeling, babe? It's so... I feel like I'm in a movie, like I only read this in books and like, you know, you learn this in history, but you never really like get to visualize it. And it's like so uh, culture shocking. Yeah. Yeah. I felt so calm and spiritual and they were singing and they were in my head. I, mean, like, I, I felt like in the Avatar's period. Yeah. Know. Well, something like that. But yeah. It was very beautiful. <laughs> And definitely like the culture i want to explore the religion more because it's very humbling they don't discriminate they're just yeah. like you know this is our prayer to the buddha and you know, this is how we praise our religion and stuff it's true and to get in here you just have to take off your shoes which i find very humbling like yeah. no matter where you come yeah from. and then you also have to they're gonna do like a little you know, ritual on your head and you drink a little water and then you give them a little tip just because it's like mass, you know, like you go to mass you get Yeah, a like blessing. an offering for the Buddha because yeah. there's a lot of monks around Wild. But this square is not as touristy but it offers a lot of tourist stuff like there's restaurant around the stupa. Also another thing that we realize is that everything kinda closes early early as in 10 p.m. and as a New Yorker you know where businesses kind of are 24-7 uh, we're not used to it and it's also nice that one of the temples that you can pray to is open for the tourists like as you can see here you know this golden statues just look so mesmerizing and if you feel so religious even though you don't practice the religion you just understand the, the value of of culture and religion to this people. Water and they like uh -huh, something like that. 